Can nitric oxide affect your genes? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, International Leader in Molecular Medicine and Nitric Oxide Biochemistry. Over the past 30 years, we've come to have a better understanding of genetics and genetic regulation. So the DNA blueprint you have doesn't necessarily dictate your outcome. There's a phenomenon called epigenetic regulation, where we can silence genes, we can turn genes on, we can turn genes off. And you can actually measure this through histone methylation, DNA methylation patterns, and the expression of certain genes in certain patients. And nitric oxide is one of those epigenetic regulators. So what we find is in people who can't make nitric oxide, they turn on certain genes, inflammatory genes. When we produce nitric oxide, when we optimize nitric oxide production or in, in increase the natural production, then we turn on the anti-inflammatory genes. We, sh we, we turn off the inflammatory genes. So nitric oxide, among many other epigenetic factors that are controlled by diet, lifestyle, uh, many environmental influences, nitric oxide is probably one of the most important epigenetic regulators of that. So pay attention to it. It's just not the readout of blood pressure sexual function the readout of nitric oxide may be turning on genes, turning off genes, and completely changing your genetic expression, your protein expression, and functional outcome.